Wakandan Royal, or IRS Battle Axe. They've won over legions of fans, but this time, someone had to lose. Ditch the script. Here's what Angela Bassett thought of Jamie Lee Curtis's win. There's a lot on the line for Oscar nominees. A win guarantees industry respect, higher pay, and instant box office demand. Of course, there's also some pretty sweet swag just for getting your name on the ballot. It's reported that 2023's nominees got a trip to Tanzania, a holiday to Greece, and a vacation to Hawaii. Past gifts have also included Audi rentals, and some actors even get to keep a little something from their red carpet look. Of course, only one will walk away with the trophy. For decades, stars have had to put on a brave face as they cheer on their fellow nominees. At the 2019 Tony Awards, host James Corden pokes some fun at this, even asking stars to practice, saying, I want you to know that in my eyes, you're all winners. However, statistically speaking, by the end of the night, the majority of you will be losers. Get your losing faces right because when the camera's on you, you've got to hide that disgust. Well, at the 2023 Academy Awards, iconic actor Angela Bassett's losing face went viral. It started one way and then it took a turn. Although there was no Oscar slap reboot, the competition for Best Supporting Actress was fierce enough to stir up some drama. Jamie Lee Curtis won her very first Oscar for her portrayal of Deirdre Bobirdra in Everything Everywhere All at Once. And in her acceptance speech, she thanked all the fans who have supported her throughout her decades in the industry. She also mentioned that her parents, the late legendary actors Tony Curtis and Janet Lee, had also been nominated during their careers. Curtis tearfully acknowledged, I just won an Oscar. But Angela Bassett seemed to be less than thrilled that Curtis walked away with the trophy. Bassett was in the running for the award for her role in Black Panther Wakanda Forever, and she looked gutted after she heard Curtis's name. She wasn't seen standing, smiling, or clapping in support of her fellow nominee. Still, the reaction has the internet divided. Some fans think it was perfectly natural, while others thought not participating in the standing ovation was disrespectful. Perhaps it was all just the heat of the moment, since Bassett has expressed gratitude just for the nomination. Prior to Oscar night, Bassett won a Golden Globe and a Critics' Choice Award for her performance as Queen Ramonda, setting her up for a solid shot at winning the Oscar. Curtis won the Screen Actors Guild Award, and the competition got even hotter. While it would be Bassett's second Oscar nom in her career, the 2023 nomination marked the first time a Marvel Cinematic Universe movie has been up for an Academy Award in an acting category. Typically, Marvel movies and other comic book superhero movies are nominated for technical categories, like costume and lighting design. While she remains grateful for the recognition, Bassett told the LA Times, "...it means I did what I came to do. I did what I came to do. And I did it well." It's technique to do that. And although she didn't go home with the trophy, it seems that the loss will only fuel her fire. After her win at the Screen Actors Guild Awards, Jamie Lee Curtis claimed she had become friends with all of the nominees in her category, and she said the last thing she wants is bad blood between these talented actors. She mentioned that she has spent time with Angela Bassett in London and has met her daughter, telling Entertainment Tonight, "...that's the surprising and beautiful part of this is that I've made friends through a competition." Back when Bassett was nominated for an Academy Award in 1994, her loss was just as hard to swallow. But even so, as she told CBS News, I don't walk away thinking I've been robbed. That's too negative of an emotion mm -hmm. to carry with me. Through sheer decades spent portraying iconic characters and stories, Bassett keeps her head high and her sights set on the future, no matter what. She once told the LA Times, I've always believed it's better to be underestimated and then deliver. It appears the loss will only drive Bassett to even higher standards of excellence in her career. One thing's for sure, she's going to do the thing.